So this is the easiest method when you are doing time domain, domain analysis of RL series circuit. By applying the KVL to this loop, we got it as V equal to IR plus LDA by D. Divide L, this equation, D by D plus R by L into I, that should be equal to V by L. So in order to get the total response, it is a summation of transient response plus steady state response transient response plus steady state response so if you want to get the transient response make this right hand side part should be equal to 0 d i by d t plus r y l into i is equal to 0 and d i by d t is equal to minus r by l into i d i by d t is equal to minus r by l into i so from this d i by i is equal to minus r by l into dt so integrate on both sides so ln i integration of 1 by x dx is equal to ln x is equal to minus r by l into t plus one constant a so this from this you can get it as i is equal to a into e power minus r by l into t this is the solution of this one you should remember initially value is there i is equal to a into e power minus r by l into t so this response is called the transient response in order to get the steady state response steady state response So the inductor will charge us from 0 to 100 percent. Steady state means the inductor is fully charged. If it is fully charged, what will happen? So V is equal to, that means the current is fully charged, 0 to 100 percent it will be charged. This is the current. D i by d t value should be equal to 0 because the d by dt of constant value is equal to 0 then voltage across the inductor is L D I by D T L into 0 is 0 if a voltage across the inductor is 0 simply it acts as a short circuit means inductor acts as a short circuit and then the steady state current is equal to V divided by R now the total response is equal to Transient response A into E power minus R by L into T plus V by R. Then again the same procedure I is equal to A into E power minus R by L T plus V by R. At T is equal to 0, the current is charges from 0 percent as yes, the inductor does not allow the sudden change of currents. The current will start from 0, I is equal to 0, substitute here and 0 is equal to A into E power 0 plus V by R then A is equal to minus V by R substitute there the total response is equal to V by R into 1 minus E power minus R by L into T so you will get the same graph the same procedure now I versus time so the graph is exponential rise I is equal to V by R into 1 minus E power minus T by tau where tau is equal to L divided by R at T is equal to 0 I value is 0 at T is equal to infinity I is V by R because E power 0 is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 at T, T equal to infinity S E power minus infinity value is 1 by E power infinity 1 by infinity is equal to 0 so if you substitute uh, different values i is equal to uh, t is equal to tau so v by r into 1 minus c power minus 1 this is 0 0.632 times of v by r and uh, at t is equal to 2 tau v by r into 1 minus c power minus 2 that should be equal to what is the value of this one is 0 0.865 into v by r 
at t is equal to 3 tau i is equal to v by r into 1 minus e power minus t 0.95 in v by r so at t is equal to 4 tau the i value is 0 0.982 v by r at t is equal to 5 tau i is equal to 0 0.993 v by r so this is the waveform at t is equal to 0 and at t equal to infinity the value is v by r as t progresses the waveform is tries to reach the v by r so v r is equal to i into r i into r so v by r into r into 1 minus e power t by tau so r r will be cancelled then this is also exponential rise but coming to vl l d i by dt l into v by r into d by dt of 1 minus c power minus r by l into t so vl by r into this differentiation of this one is 0 minus e power minus r by l into t into minus r by l l l cancel r is r is also cancelled then i call it as v into e power minus r by l into t then old day cross inductor is equal to v into e power minus t by top so you can substitute at t equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 vl is equal to v into e power 0 that is v at t is equal to tau vl is equal to v into e power minus 1 the e power minus 1 value is 0 0.368 0.368 at uh, t is equal to 2 tau so then v is l is equal to v power minus 2 at value is 0.135 so you can go for up to 5 tau and at t is equal to infinity what will happen old a cross the inductor v l is equal to v l is equal to v into e power minus infinity v by infinity the value is 0 so at t is equal to 0 the magnitude is v and as time progresses the old a cross inductor value is approaches to 0 this is called the exponential decay this is a exponential decay